Okay, what's up people? In the style of Striper, yes. Someone requested this, man. I can't find it. I remember seeing it and going, interesting, man. Someone requested in the style of Striper. And um, to be honest with you, it's kind of right up my alley. I was uh, really influenced by Striper back in the 80s. And um, so I'm actually, this is a in the style of Striper, something I wrote. But I wrote this when I was 16 years old. Um, maybe even 15 years old. I can't remember. But um, it's definitely in the style of Striper. We were, we were influenced by them big time. So um, here's what it's going to be. I'll sit down. Still remember it. I remember it still. Man. So in the style of Striper. Uh, somewhat early days, middle of the road Striper style stuff. Stuff kind of off to hell with the devil. That kind of vibe. Um, so ready? I'm tuned flat for this using the scarred guitar here. And it's kind of a tricky one, man. Um, with the alternate picking and some of the cordings. But when I wrote this, I didn't want it to be just your standard, you know, I wanted to kind of think it out a little bit. So what I'm doing is 7G, 8B with my third and fourth finger. That kind of sets you up for what's going on. You can stick your middle finger on 6B if you want and your first finger on 5B and you can have, so basically three fingers on the B string. But you don't have to, you can add them as it comes up. So I'm palm muting the open D and I'm going down, up, down, up. <coughs> and then I'm hitting the G and B string. The only thing palm muted is the open D string in here, by the way. Then repeat it, down, up, down, up on the D, but go 7G, 6B, so we have, and then repeat it again, and this time it's 7G, 5B. So your chords are, Here's what we did so far. And then down up, down up, palm muted D. And then 7G, 6B. Down up, down up on the D again, palm muted. And then 7G, 5B. And then 7G, 6B. So it's... And then the next one, you're be repeating it. Um, same concept, but here's what happens. Pinky ends up going to eight on the D. You got nine G and, no, eight, I'm sorry. Pinky goes on eight D, seven G is third finger, and middle finger does six B, and first finger is gonna do five B. So I like to set both of those down. Um, down, up, down, up, palm muted on that D string. Of course, we're pressing fret eight on it. So we have So we're just transitioning between two different changes here. Um, and you're gonna do that twice when you because you're going and then hit the G and B, right? And then do it again. So that's and then palm mute off the D string again, down up, down up. And then uh, lift your middle finger off to where you're doing the 5B and the 7G. So. And then down, up, down, up, palm muted on the D. And then middle finger right back down to 6B. You're going to hit the 7G with it. 
down up down up on that D string again palm muted and then go 7G 5B and then 7G 6B so here's that part slowed down so here we go and then move up to 10D 9G and you're gonna go down up down up on the D string palm muted and then hit that string with the uh, 9G no palm mute hit them together so so you're doing that twice right times two and then down up down up off the D string again on the 10th fret and then add your third finger to 11D keep your first finger on 9G so we have when you, actually 11 D 10 G hit those down up down up on 11 D palm muted so, and then go 11 D 9 G did I say that and then down up down up palm muted on the 11th fret D so, so. Pinch harmonic, the 10th fret G, vibrato it. And then back to the very first part. But it's only part of it. Let me play it up to there. Through the first two changes of the intro, nine or seven G eight B, and you're palm muting off the open D, down up, down up, right, and then repeat it, but it's in the seven G six B. So down up, down up on the open D again, and then we go to an A to a suspended. I think I went up the octave on some of those, like, or we'll just keep it here. So open A, 2D, 2G, and then go 2D, 2G, 3B, so that's an A suspended, and hit strings 4, 3, and 2 together. And then lift that third finger off to where you're now doing 2, 2, 2, D, G, and B. So then you start it all over. And then, um, actually, there is another part I'll show you really quick. Uh, 5A, 7D, and it goes. 5A, 7D, 7G. I bar that. You can use three fingers if you want. And go palm mute the A string, go down, down, up, and then hit strings 5, 4, and 3 all together. So it's. And then, so. And then go down up on the fifth fret A again, palm muted, so and then repeat it. Four times, so or, actually I screwed it up. You'll you'll go. And then two down strokes on the fifth fret A. And then go down up. And then hit the string five, four, and three again. So it's so do 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 that do 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 that do 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 that do 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 that do. That's your beat. And then um, same thing. Um, one A, three D, three G. On the fourth one, um, cut one of the notes short and go open A. So, and then palm mute the first fret on the A and go down, up, down, up. And then hit the chord there, the B flat power chord. 
which is 1A, 3D, 3G. So. And then polymute the first fret A twice. And now you'll get the pattern after that because it's. See? You know what I mean? It's following the same beat as we did here. You know, actually, I should just give you the chord outlines and you can kind of noodle with it, but. And then 3A, 5D. 4A, uh, 5D. And then 5A, 7D. And then I do the A to the A suspended to the A. As a matter of fact, that's how the song went. After, after it went through the whole. And then that would build into going. So I threw in those dig -dig -dig on on them as we went. So, man, I'm sweating like crazy out here, guys. I've got to get a fan going. Summer is officially here, I suppose. Geez, it's hot, but I'm in the desert. Anyways, that's in the style of Striper. Um, I saw a subscriber, I can't remember what your name was, but uh, I know it was requested by somebody to do the, in the style of Striper. Great band, great riffs, right up my alley. Um, so have fun with it. Break it into pieces, experiment, do your own little concept. There's so much to learn within a, in a tiny little riff that you can always improve on and find ways to expand on it. So. Um, take your time with this stuff. Make sure you subscribe to both channels, youtube.com slash rockingguitarlessons2, as well as rockingguitarlessons1. Um, once you do that, send me your request, man, in the style of how-tos. Um, I have sweet picking, tapping, just whatever stuff, you know, and I'll get it out here for you. Um, I also teach on Skype. My Skype name is Rockin' Guitar Lessons at $50 an hour, $25 for a half an hour. Um, we can work on any and everything, man. I don't even, if, it, if it's not a guitar instrument, if it's a flute or a kazoo, I don't care what it is. I'll transcribe it, get it figured out for you. That way you're learning the things you want to learn. And to me, that's what it's about. We play off of our uh, inspirations, our motivations, and our passions for certain techniques and styles. That's how I learned, and that's how I ended up teaching. So um, I've been doing it since 92, been playing since 82, love it. And, jeez, uh, I can't, I mean, it's who I am without it. I mean, I can't imagine life without it. So if you have questions, feel free to ask. Uh, my email is rockingguitarlessons at hotmail.com. PayPal email is tvxpunk at aol.com if you'd like to donate to this channel. And be sure to go over to the official Striper Tube channel and uh, show them some love, man. I, I believe it's youtube.com slash stripertube. Um, go subscribe to it. Striper's back on the scene, man, kicking some butt again. Um, show them some support. And until next time, I'm Mike Gross in the style of Striper. Take my vids, spread them all over, man. Facebook, YouTube world. We'll talk to you later.